Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Native Mobile Wits. My name is Sachin and in today's video we are going to learn about surface composable and how we can align our composable inside our screen. Okay, so before we start, just a quick summary. Till now in our Jetpack Compose series, we have covered these videos and we have learned how we can create our custom composable and how we can modify our composable using modifiers. And now let's start with today's video. As of now, we have this text composable inside our activity and then we can see the preview as well in the right hand side now for example let's say we want to see the entire mobile screen and then we want to place this text composable inside that screen somewhere so for that we can use a inbuilt composable which is called surface and surface can act as a parent composable to use surface composable let's define one composable function with this annotation we can give any name let's name it main screen as this will be our main screen for our main activity and inside our main screen composable function we can use this inbuilt surface composable like this and now we can specify the modifier here as well inside our surface before that let's use this main screen inside our site content method let's comment this for now and let's use this and same thing we need to use inside our default preview as well now inside our surface composable we can add some properties so let's use this named param called color to add some background color and we can use this color dot we can use any of this color for now let's use black so now this surface composable will have black background and if we try to sync this now there is nothing on the right side in preview panel that's because we have not specified any height or width for this surface composable so to specify that we can use another named param called modifier we can use this modifier object modifier dot and then to fill up the entire space on the screen we can use this fill max size which we learned in our previous video basically this modifier dot fill max size will take up the entire screen space and then surface composable will be having the black background so our entire screen will be shown in the black background color so now let's refresh our preview again okay so we can see that our entire screen is filled up with this black background space we can change this background as well so for now let's use gray background color and refresh our preview again so we can see that our preview is using gray background color and now inside this let's use our text composable which we was using earlier so let's add this welcome text composable here and this text composable is little bit styled and we are using this inside our surface composable so now let's refresh our preview again okay so our text view is showing up so if we check out the preview we can see that our text composable is using a lot of height because we are using some custom height here so let's remove this and let's try to set the minimum height needed to show up this text it should be exactly like brap content in android xml there is something called brap content height or brap content size so we are using height for now and this wrap content height is exactly similar to wrap content in android xml so this will only take up the needed height to show this text now let's refresh our preview and let's see how it appears okay so our preview has refreshed and now our text composable is only taking the needed height but it is coming in the center okay so we will align this text now but before that let me show you one trick so we have now two composable one is surface another one is text okay so if you click on any of these then IDE will automatically take you to the respective code so if you click on this surface IDE will take you to this surface part if you click on this text composable IDE will take you to this text composable part okay so right now we are using this fill max width and wrap content height we can remove these two and we can use wrap content size this one so this will take the needed size entirely like height and width both and let's refresh our preview so we can see that now our text composable is only taking the needed height and width now both height and width are equivalent to wrap content okay but now one thing to note here is 
the moment we use this wrap content size our text composable is coming in the center of this surface so maybe this wrap content size is using some kind of center alignment so let's go to the definition of this method so we can see that this is internally using this center alignment that's why our text composable is coming in the center of the screen so we can pass the value of the alignment here inside this wrap content size based on our requirement and then it will align our text composable accordingly so to set up the alignment inside our text composable we can use this named param here align and we can use this alignment and we can use any of this predefined alignment so there is bottom center bottom bottom end and start so there is all kind of alignment available so for example let's use this top start so it will put up our text composable at the top and in the starting here so let's use this and let's refresh our preview okay so we can note here that our text composable is aligned with this top start position so our surface is this one the gray one and then our text composable is present at the top and the start we can use other alignment as well let's remove this and let's use top end and let's refresh this again so it is putting up our text composable at the end and in the top itself we can also use something with center start okay so our preview has re-rendered and we can see that this center start is working like this so our text composable is in center and in the start of our surface composable here so till now we are just using one composable on our screen like there is one text composable if we want to add more than one composable inside our surface composable let's try to do that let's add one more welcome text okay and we can pass some value hello android this time and let's try to render our preview okay now we have added two text composable so this will take two text composable from here one for hello world one for hello android and we are trying to use that inside our surface composable let's see how it renders so our preview has been rendered and this is looking very bad like both of the text composables are overlapping each other and we cannot see any one composable properly that's because this surface directly takes one children inside this and we was trying to use multiple children so now the question is how we can handle multiple composable inside our screen right we will cover about this in our next videos over of this jetpack compose series so stay tuned for that and this was today's video guys i hope i shared something valuable with you today if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video